around the world, the number of electric racing series is steadily increasing. All of these EV racing series, however, are new and were created from scratch. Even while some of the major traditional series have created electric spin-off series or accepted electric race cars in some specific classes, none of them have gone electric all the way. If all motor racing series finally switch to all electric cars, it is probably safe to assume that NASCAR will be the last to do so. Fans of NASCAR, the premier stock car racing series in America, are very devoted to tradition and find it very difficult to picture a race vehicle without the rumbling of a V8 engine, the exhaust flames that typically accompany it, and the smell of burnt gasoline. Having said that, a completely silent, all-electric NASCAR car currently exists, so you don't need to close your eyes and visualize one. Joe Gibbs Racing developed it so that its crew could practice pit stops on it. The team posted a video of their all-electric Toyota TRD Camry NASCAR on Twitter, and seeing and seeing it is really unusual because the car makes just tire screeches when braking hard. But what are the reasons of JGR using an EV car? Let's find out in other NASCAR off-season updates. Hello NASCAR fam, and welcome back to NASCAR Live. But before we begin, subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. There was an issue with Joe Gibbs Racing. Its well-trained pit crews have been practicing on a stock car that resembles the Gen 6 vehicles that the series raced for almost a decade. But when NASCAR made the switch to the next-gen car in 2022, it did away with that vehicle and decades of five-log pit stop history. In 2022, the team managed to get by with a modified previous-generation vehicle, but it was not quite a precise portrayal of the conditions teams would encounter during a race. The cost of manufacturing and maintaining a new next-gen car is high, and it is difficult to get the engines and transmissions needed to construct one. What is the team's response? Well, make an electric stock vehicle, that's all. It ended up like this. It is a NASCAR stock vehicle with an electric drivetrain that was created specifically to aid in pit crew practice. However, it has some special advantages, according to JGR, which built it out of need. The most notable features are that it is quiet and operates at significantly lower cost. Only pit stop practice is conducted there, according to Matt Osborne, the JGR Sports Director. The JGR Sports Director. It was a lot cheaper to build than a real NASCAR Gen 7 car for a pit practice car, and we are hoping it will also be much more durable and therefore cheaper to maintain in the long run. And last but not least, it's greener, of course. The team should be able to regulate their practice environment even more thanks to the EV silent operation because there will not be any engine noise to prevent them from talking and noticing mistakes as they arise. Even while this EV is only intended to be used as a practice vehicle for pit stops, it may also provide a glimpse into NASCAR's future. This vehicle does not appear to be directly related to the organization's plans to run an electric racing program in the upcoming years. But documents that were released back in July imply that the series may do so soon, even though it would seem weird to see a stock car pulled down to a halt without any V8 growl right now. It might start to happen more frequently in the future. And now, let's take a closer look on the championship team behind JGR that you don't see on the track. What does it take to build a Cup Series champion? It requires a ton of expertise in machining and specialized manufacture, as well as collaborative work behind the scenes. The manufacturing staff of a top racing organization works in a 400,000 square foot plant in Huntersville, North Carolina, and is constantly in a race against time to keep the team's drivers towards the top of the NASCAR rankings. The group is employed by Joe Gibbs Racing, a stock car, truck, and motorcycle racing organization owned and run by the famed Washington Redskins head coach, Joe Gibbs, and his sons, Jason Dean and Coy Gibbs. The majority of JGR's 600 employees work in its two areas of manufacturing and competition. Four of JGR's NASCAR Cup teams, three Xfinity teams, one ARCA team, four Supercross motocross teams, an engine development department, and staff members who prepare the cars for the circuit they'll be racing on this weekend are all part of the competition division. Moreover, employing tractor trailers and JGR's three aircraft, this section is in charge of getting cars and personnel to and from the locations where they will be competing. 
However, the competition section does not receive the automobiles. The competition section does not receive the automobiles until the production division is done with them. The manufacturing team consists of dozens of fabricators and mechanics, as well as over 70 engineers and 24 CNC machinists who are backed by four CNC programmers. The production crew is always working to create new vehicles because the usual JDR race car only lasts for three or four races and enhance already existing ones. Manufacturing of Custom In-House Racing Vehicles According to Mark Bringle, technical sponsorship and marketing director for the company, JGR manufactures around 90% of the components that go into their vehicles. The high reliance on internal manufacturing is due to a number of factors. One reason is that JGR has four Cup Series victories under its belt since 2000 and doesn't want its technical brilliance and engineering know-how to depart the company. When we find something that gives us a competitive edge, we don't want it sitting with an outside company with a three-week delivery time, says Bringle. For a quick turnaround, it's a lot easier to go down to our shop than it is to deal with an outside vendor. JGR is also confident in the ability of its own business to create parts of the highest quality because part failures might cause driver injuries or even worse. The company built a cutting-edge metrology lab to help assure this by inspecting crucial part properties, including precision, shape, and surface quality. A defect engineer is also employed by JGR, and he or she assesses the metals utilized in the CNC procedures used by the manufacturing team and offers recommendations for materials. The fault engineer examines components that were bought from outside vendors as well. A race car is being constructed in JGR's fab room by roughly 75 employees. It takes them about a week to build the chassis, which is the first step. Following that, the chassis is measured at NASCAR's certification facility. It takes another week for fabricators to hang the body panels on the vehicle after JGR receives it. After that, roughly 40 mechanics start working on installing the engine and other parts three weeks after the assembly process begins. Finnish automobiles are typically prepared for the competition division. Fully committed metal working operation. It is almost guaranteed that metal parts for JGR vehicles will go through the company's metal working facility. According to senior engineer Dan Olson, I would be amazed if you could find a part on a car, if you could find a part on a car that we haven't modified or produced from scratch. Olson adds that JGR also manufactures all the supporting fixtures and tools required for body hanging and chassis fabrication. 34 CNC machines are in use at JGR and work in two shifts each day. The tools include a laser cutter, a water jet cutter, a three-axis router, seven lathes, four electrical discharge machines, four electrical discharge machines, and 20 mills. Aluminum, titanium, and steel are the main metals that are machined. Olson states, we don't conduct large production runs, and we don't have any machinery devoted to one item. A machine will produce two or three distinct parts in tiny batches every day. Metal sheets and tubes that have been cut, bent, and welded into position make up the majority of the components used in the production of chassis. Body panels can also be made from sheet metal. Olson claims that a large number of the panels utilized are stamped at an outside facility and then modified by JGR to provide the required fit and or aerodynamic properties, which are little steel tubes that are welded to the panels and chassis are used to secure the panels to the race vehicles. This technology is distinct from the seam welding method used to attach the body panels of conventional manufacturing automobiles. Olson argues that the use of stubs enables JGR's manufacturing team to modify panel shape placement, and orientation more rapidly and easily than would be feasible with regular automobile panels. We only see what's going on in our facility, but the MSC rep is out in the field in a lot of shops. He sees all different applications and situations where products are used, so he can make recommendations about what products we need. Another important behind-the-scenes success and the rest of the JGR production team have profited from their connection with MSC Industrial Supply Company for many years. 
MSC Industrial Supply Company provides JGR with a huge selection of manufacturing and MRO items from top manufacturers. According to Dan Schnars, a manufacturing engineer for JGR, as much as 40% of the products used by the manufacturing division are supplied by MSC, manual mills, fasteners, abrasives, as well as safety gear like glasses, earplugs, and gloves are some of the other important items purchased from MSC. JGR uses the control point, customer managed inventories management, vending technology from MSC to restock its product inventory, saving time and money in the process. Customers only need to scan the barcode of the item they wish to purchase. Connect the scanner to a PC and MSCDirect.com will instantly add the item to their shopping basket. Joe Gibbs, owner of JGR, notes that by using the control point inventory management system, we are able to better track tooling usage and have considerably decreased superfluous inventory on the shop floor, which has resulted in a product expenditure reduction of over 25% overall in our shop. Fast product delivery is essential to JGR because it has a strict weekly racing schedule that must be met. Schnarr says, if we break something, we're going to be redesigning and manufacturing it within hours of when it broke. He also added, in order to live in that environment, we can't wait for something to come in three or four days later because we wouldn't be able to get parts on race cars for the next week. We need suppliers like MSC that can get stuff here overnight. Olson and other designers may move through the design and prototyping cycles more quickly due to MSC's quick delivery. He claims, with next day delivery, we always have the resources we need. JGR depends on the technical support offered by MSC in addition to quick delivery. Schnars claims, we can only see what is happening inside our building, but the MSC representative is present at many shops. He's able to recommend the things we require because he is familiar with all the numerous uses and circumstances in which products are applied. How to machine a material that is especially difficult might be a problem in various situations. Bringle explains, if we have a problem cutting a specific unusual metal and their metalworking professionals will offer us support, she adds, it's good to have that knowledge come along with our products. Now that you know all there is to know about Joe Gibbs Racing, what do you think of the team? Let us know in the comments section below. And that ends today's episode. We sincerely hope you have enjoyed the video. If so, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. You can also check out our other videos that have been specially selected for you. We will catch up in the next video.